a rainy day again. All I could see through the kitchen's window was falling water. Damn, why happens it always in the weekend? We've planned to go out that night. My thoughts circled for possible solutions and I hoped that one of my friends has found a guy with a car, because I don't like to ruin my hair. Asterisk si asterisk. Why I was here again. Oh yeah, I needed some glasses and a coke for our mixed drinks. Yeah, that was it. I had to take a glass as spare and enough to drink, because I didn't want to leave my room until this evening. Let's see, five glasses, checked. For litre coke, double checked. Now I only needed to carry it up to my room. Asterisk ug asterisk a dumb idea, to come here alone and I cursed myself for wearing this tight shirt, because there was no way to use it as carrying help. But I would still make it. I bumped the light switch of the kitchen with my nose and walked fully loaded to the stairs. One bottle under each arm and five glasses pressed with my hands to my body aren't easy to hold on but I was optimistic and I climbed the stairs without a doubt. And you know what? It was just fate, that it happened with the last step. One of the glasses slipped away and fell to the ground. And I looked downwards with wide eyes, while this darn refugee fell down in slow motion. If I had a free hand I would try to catch it, but I couldn't do anything in this situation. The glass didn't broke when it banged on the carpet but it rolled down the stairs and I shuddered with every step it took. I looked down the stairs and was relieved, because the refugee rolled safely to the bottom. Darn thing. I'll pick you up later. I said in anger and went on. Good that I took an additional glass with me. Finally I've reached my destination. An old wooden door, white painted and decorated with a gingerbread heart, which I've gained on my last journey. I heard the TV in my room and one of the girls talked a way too much. And sure I knew, who it was. I knocked with my foot against the door and waited for someone, who maybe opens the door for me. And I waited and waited and waited for 10 seconds, I'm not really patient. Maybe was the TV just too loud or maybe were the others just too self-absorbed. So I tried to open the door with my elbow. And you know what? I managed to open the door and as I stepped into my room, I saw the usual and for me normal sight I'm used to. My room was my castle. Okay, okay. It was only a room with four walls, a roof and two windows, but it was my room, at least since several years. And these three girls in my room were my best friends. We know each other since, since the kindergarten, I believe. There was Susan, who lay on my single bed, with her shoulder leaned against the wall. She used one of my pillows to get a snuggly position, while her hand was holding the remote of my TV. A normal sight of my friend watching TV. But Susan wasn't normal and it weren't her black long hairs, her well-formed body or her attitude, that disturbed me. No, she was just a goth. She always said, that she is no goth and that she only wears black, because black makes slim. But we all knew, that she was lying. Every time, when she tried to say this sentence, I answered teasingly, sure. Seems to not work with you.